Pop World Naughty here. Today I'm going to do an interview with my dad and he's going to tell us some awesome things about the new motor in his Monster Pro. So let's get to it. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. Well, I really am an enthusiast with electric unicycles. I've really enjoyed these things. I saw it on YouTube once and I wanted to do something that would challenge myself. So I ended up ordering my first electric unicycle from eWheels and it was a V11. And that's the one actually you have right now, correct? <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I then wanted you to have a wheel, so I ended up giving you my V11 and ordering a Bagode Monster Pro. That's cool. What's the amazing thing about this new motor? Well, thanks for asking that. The really amazing thing about this new motor is I believe it is different than the original motor I received. Now, um, I like the original motor, but there was a problem and the problem was it didn't have the torquiness that I really was looking for in the wheel. I could easily overpower it. The reason why I got a new motor is because I dented the rim. I did jumps and when I was just starting I didn't realize how important it is to have a certain PSI or pressure in the tire and so I was doing jumps and I realized I busted the rim I ended up going over just a few curbs and cracked the rim and that that's why I ended up getting a new motor I bet you learned your lesson dad what's the difference between the new motor and the old motor the old motor was super fast I mean it topped out at the free spin speed at around 63 and I think it went up a little higher so my riding speed or the, the top speed for riding speed would be somewhere around 53 to 55 if it was really ideal conditions. Now um, that was awesome that it was a very high speed motor but the problem was as I addressed before it's the torquiness. So I mean I could easily overpower it and say if a car would pull up right in front of me at high speeds there's no way I would have had enough torque to pull back and stop because right when I pulled back it would have slipped the magnets would have slipped and I probably would have it would have cut off and I would have ended up hitting the car so that was the problem with the old motor now when I had it replaced they had put a new motor in here and they don't know much about this new motor in fact I got it done at Alien Rides because they're not too far away from us and that's where I purchased this wheel to begin with and uh, they said it was the same motor and everything but it happens to be quite different and that's why I think that this new motor is a high torque motor. The reason why I say this is because there is a big difference between the way this motor rides and the original motor. Now, why does this new motor ride different? Well, this new motor rides differently because there is so much more torque. It seems that there's so much power in it, yet the top end speed is less than the previous motor. Um, this one here free spins at around 55, somewhere around there. So it's almost like 7 or 8 miles per hour less than the previous motor. Wow, that's a lot of miles per hour less. Well, the difference I think is there's more magnets here. I just think that because I haven't been able to overpower this yet and I went on the same exact trails and slopes as my old motor. My old motor would slip and if I had to brake hard it would just, the magnets would slip and the, the wheel would cut out. But now I feel like I have a lot more power in, in it, low end speed, and I'm able to go up much higher inclines. You know, I can stop a lot faster. I can really crank it, and it seems like it's it's very strong uh, on the torque side of things. 
as opposed to the previous motor when you know I, I would try and stop and it would just it would just overpower the motor but there's something different about this motor I really think that Gotway produced a motor that is high torque so that's why I have in the thumbnail and you have in the thumbnail here that we're introducing the new high torque Bagode Monster Pro. That is amazing. Did you get the specs for the motor? You know, I called Alien Rides because I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it. It actually topped out at the free spin speed at 53 because the battery uh, was about 50%. So when I put it to 100%, when I charge it to 100%, and I did a free spin test, it went all the way up to 56, but that's the highest. My previous motor went up to 63, it went into the 60s. And so I was wondering if I should actually keep this motor or reach out to Alien Rides and let them know, you know, hey, I don't want this motor here. I want, I want my original motor, I want that original speed because uh, to be honest, that's the reason why I got this wheel, for the range and the speed. I wanted a higher top end speed and more power so that I can have some safety cushion when I hit 40, 45 miles an hour. How can you be certain this is a high torque? The reason why I can be certain is because I'm taking the same exact routes and the slopes where my old motor would slip and overpower the wheel, they're no longer overpowering this wheel. Also, when you have a high speed and a high torque, there's going to be a difference in the speed and power, right? You have the RS torque, the RST, Bagode RST. Well, it doesn't go as fast as the um, high speed RS, Bagode, um, but it has more power off the get-go. That's a lot more zippy, right? Um, whereas the high speed may not have the torque but it's going to go faster so sometimes it's around 10 miles per hour less there's a 10 miles per hour differential between you know the um, high speed and the high torque this wheel seems to be a high torque why because number one it goes slower it tops out at a much slower speed about eight miles per hour slower than the previous motor. Yet, it's much more powerful and more torquey. I can really lean into it and it's not going to overpower the wheel, which is great. Now, <clears throat> after riding it a while, at first I didn't want to keep it. I wanted to get my money back or whatever and get my original motor in there. But, after riding it around and realizing that, you know, I'm not gonna be really going that fast all the time. I, I'm not really a speed demon like a lot of other people might be. I'm more of a, I like trails and things like that. And I like going, you know, I will go around 40, 40 ish, somewhere around there. And it seems 40 something seems to be pretty safe for this wheel, this new motor. Uh, but I have come to really kind of like this now because I feel safer when I stop. Um, and also I can take off much faster, accelerate. That's really cool. Um, why would you prefer a high torque instead of a high speed? Well, with a big wheel like this, you need a lot more power to slow down. And I can slow down much faster with this new motor. It's for safety because the other wheel, I was afraid that if I was going fast and something jumped out in front of me, a kid or a family or a car or a bicycle, or something, a dog or animal, uh, that I wouldn't have the power to pull back and lean back and slow down fast enough. But with this wheel, I can tell there's so much more power. So I really do think in, in the way it feels and how I've been riding it, that this motor is a high torque motor for the Bagode Monster Pro. And so I wanna introduce to everyone this new Monster Pro High Torque Edition. Uh, I don't know exactly, I'm not confirmed with it, but I'm going to get some more specs. Uh, Alien Rides is looking into, you know, they're co contacting Bagode and 
to find out e the exact specs of this motor and what the difference is between this motor and the original motor. But I can't wait for that. We will give all of them an update uh, when, when we get word or more information from Alien Rides on this specific motor. That was some interesting information. I can't wait until you tell us what Gottweight says. Thank you so much for being in this interview. If we find more information about this wheel, we'll make a part two. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and comment what you think about this video. Bye.